So first of all, we will tell the subject. Gurudev, we were actually sharing in the morning and Gurudev, um, he was very much interested on clearing this point actually. And the subject is Sanjari bath and Stai bath. So how to see it also in our Bhattana uh, Kriya? How to see it in the connection with Visham Sneha, Sam Sneha, and Adik Sneha? So I know it's, it's, a, it's like a, a big pot we are opening. Um, because it gets, it goes much, uh, and it's also from very basic mm -hmm. understanding, it goes to a very, very subtle understanding also. So first, I would like to repeat a picture Gurudev gave us to understand what actually is Sanjari bath and what is Stai bath? So, if we take a cup and we take a bottle, Gurudev was showing us, and he was opening the bottle and he poured water like that, moving. We understand this is Sanjari bath. Very little is going in the cup. A lot is going nearby or somewhere else. So stai bath means to fix the bottle in the stream and fill up the cup very fast. If there are any questions on this, please ask or give commands so that everybody is really sure to understand what is sanjari bath and what is stai bath. If my bath is fixed like the stream of the bottle or it's moving <clears throat> then it's not stai it's sandry it's moving my bhava my feelings so this is the main subject So why actually is this so important? We actually want to follow the path of Rupa. So we want to be in Radha Dasyam. To be in Radha Dasyam, we have to fix our goal 100%. Gurudev actually told us so many times, not even 99% doesn't work. I honestly admit till today, I did not really understand why it doesn't work. But now it gets more clear. So to understand it more clear, we will go into the Snehas, Visham Sneha, as you may know. 
is when somebody has more love for Krishna. So if we are focused on Krishna, this can also have different reasons. We may be in Aishwarya Bhav. We may serve Krishna because he has his opulences. He is the most rich, the most intelligent, the most beautiful. He has everything what we actually would like to have in this material consciousness. So we serve him, but actually we also want something. So it's more like a deal. That's just one part. But we can also serve him in a very sweet aspect. And there are, of course, different stages. But if we are fixed on Krishna, then we are in Visham Snail. So if anyone wants to give some uh, underlining or uh, what to say, some comments of Ananda Das Babaji or some verses who actually fit to this, you are invited. The next point, some snail. So Visham Sneha goes in the direction to Krishna. Some Sneha means we actually still are fixed towards Krishna, but actually we understand that we may get closer if we go to Ratha. If we are near to Ratha, we can also get closer to Krishna. I, you forgive me, please. I, I, I just want to make it short because this theme is going more broad. So I, I cannot, you know, dive in in all aspects so deep. So some sneha means Ratha and Krishna. So the third one is Adik Sneha. So Adik Sneha. Yeah. Why do you want to explain So Sama Sneha is uh, some devotee loved Krishna and Radha. Uh, same. But sometimes some situation, some sneha, like uh, Saki, like Larita, Vishaka, sometimes go to Krishna. Some occasion, some to go to Radha. So their feeling is the same, but uh, sometimes go Krishna, sometimes go to Radha. So they are moving. So therefore, sometimes it, it's called uh, Sanchari. Sanchari Baba, their Baba is Sanchari. <clears throat> that is a small explanation. As I said, you are all <coughs> invited to share on this and give some support. Radhe Radhe, today I posted in the Radha Dasyam group exactly one of those points which is actually the most important for Manjari Bhav Sadhanas. It is from Radharasa Sutanidi, verse number two. The highest and most cherished ambition 
for the Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas is to attain Radha Dasyam or more specifically Radha Snehadika Bhavola Sarati. Srila Rupa Goswami wrote the following in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 2528. Sanchari Syat Samonava Krishna Ratya Suritrati Adika Pushyamana Chet Bhavolasa Itiriati. Now Baba is translating. Among the friends of Sri Ratarani, some possess love for Sri Ratha, which is equal to or a little less than for Sri Krishna. Love for Sri Krishna is there, Stahibhav, and love for Radhika is a Sanchari Bhav. But those whose love for Sri Ratha is greater than for Sri Krishna possess a love which is called Pavolasa. This is Ratik Sneha. This Bhavolasa Rati is the Stai Bhava for those mancharis of Sri Ratha whose love is greater for her than for Krishna. This is the most enjoyable and most attractive subject matter for the Gautya Vaishnava Acharyas. So this is what Baba is saying on that point, that Visham Sneha and Sam Sneha is not the highest ambition, but Ratik, this is a very nice term. It is called Ratha Snehadika Bhavola Sarati, more love for Sri Mati Radhika, and this is our, the Mancharis, Stai Bhav. This is what Papa is saying on one point of the subject matter. Thank you very much. That is the subject also Gaurvani wants to talk. And Baba, listening after Baba, this quotation. But how it happens, that to see. How many are in a Thai house, that to see. And if I am not in a Thai house, why not? Why not a Thai house is there? That is the culture to share. Uh, when it will be crystal clear, it will be very helpful to all of us. Why what not? If you, yeah. Yeah, so on. yeah, you said you, you, you gave us last time the explanation, Gorodev, without being Even aware. Explanation we all know. Explanation is a philosophy. Realization we want. We are not satisfied with explanation. How much we realize that we have to stop. Yes. That is my thing. We know the explanation is a philosophy. But how much we practice, we are living in this practice that has to see. That is my wish to share in this point. Everyone I want to share in this point, where is the problem, how to solve the problem for that. How to come out from the problem? That here one place is written also by Baba. Only in Vrindavan without his problem not go out. I don't know the page. Eh? 
So that is also one question. Why Vrindava? Why not Yoga? Why we are living with Krishna? Because there is Sambandha or not with Krishna? We are assigned Krishna or not? Is still talking on Krishna? Or we are one point eight for Radhika? We have to discuss on this point. One person cannot say everything. It, it will come when we go in, in that subject. When the I bhav come without sambandha, without relation of this today, What is my relation? Assignment twenty four seven. What is the point to missing in our life to make it twenty four seven? Everyone has to say. Radhe Gurudev. Yes. I like to share a little bit. Yes, all have to share. I want I want to listen. When some years ago, when uh, we start with your relation, I remember that there was not to speak about bath. I had, uh, uh, I remember you visit our home, there was an altar and uh, um, there was many different deities there. There was one Nishinga Dev was there and uh, different, different. So then you saw this and uh, I got just uh, small Radha Krishna deities. And uh, then I ask you how to install these deities. And uh, you said, no need so much uh, installation uh, things. They will, they will get your love. This is the installation. And then step by step, you give the instructions to fix the Ishtadev. After that, you fix the bath also to the manjari. It becomes one point at all, the Ishtadev and the bath. And at that moment, I understood, I could understand this. Then many things coming automatically, somehow, I don't know. And by visiting Vrindavan to be close in this place, to share with with others in the same mood, and it it comes clear and clearer. And then um, inside, I could see I there is no need to searching for other things. I got it. I got the one pointed from you, from your hand. And and that moment I could accept this. There is nothing higher to search for, and nothing other to listen for. Then uh, I could uh, assign with you with the teaching, hundred percent. And then I could also realize after some time, it took some years, that my Ishta Dev is uh, Ishta Devi, only Radhika. Before it was clear, it was God, some far away, maybe Father, but far away. And then it comes more close, Krishna, very sweet, Prabhupada. 
Krishna consciousness, everybody knows this. <laughs> he make always this point, Krishna consciousness. And we listen so many times, everybody of all of us. But then it changed. You changed this inside me to Sri Radhika. And after accepting this, it comes more, much more easy and many things coming also by the reading of Villa Pushmanjali. This is very high the topics inside there. We can learn so much about the nature of our Radhika. And if we accept her in our heart as our Ishta Devi, then it comes automatically. Many things growing inside. And um, that is what I can feel and uh, I can share it because it is my own experience what I get by this. I'm not, uh, in, in the books I cannot uh, speak about uh, the verses, what is, where it is written, but I, I like all what, what uh, we read because it's all examples from those who accept our Swamini in 100%. If we are not accept 100%, then we are mixing something. And this is not sty. Sty means really fixed. <clears throat> there is no, no left and no right and nothing more to reach. This is a fixed point, like to fix our Ishta Devi. We cannot uh, say yes, Ishta Devi and another Ishta Devi also. It's only one point. This is what I can share after now we are together for 12 or 13 years. And uh, you give me this or you give it to us and you always teach these points to become one-pointed to uh, stabilize the Ishtadev, to uh, accept this one. And there is, after that, is no need to search for anything else. We found it. It is the highest point. Also, Tarun Baba, uh, your, your uh, guru, is, uh, he is also fixing us the same. No, he is so clear. All all his explanations are hundred percent and clear. Nothing more to to search for. We are somehow we 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 are on the goals. We know the goal now exactly, right? Sorry, Madonia Rasa, we cannot hear you, non ti sentiamo. Jai Gurdiv, can I also share something? Yeah. Um, I found the same uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu verse that you, Tarun, were sharing also in Shishi uh, Prem. Prima Bhakti Chandrika. And in this uh, explanation, he is explaining, yes, the philosophy. And um, to go into my own um, observations where I check myself, where I am in my consciousness, am I 24 7 or am I si. Si. breaks, taking breaks? And that is uh, in this purport, Baba is saying, There are no other associates than the Mandaris who continuously stay with Sri Radha Mohan during their pastimes. So I think that is the importance, Gurudev, why you want to give us this study, because it's a natural tendency of the Mandaris. She wants to be always in service because she's always together. And continuously, continuously means, oh, I'm not taking a rest. And uh, when I have a tendency in my Sadaka Deha to take a rest, then I notice, for example, 
when my mind is drifting to my own uh, enjoyment and then I feel, oh, I need this now or I want that now. But for manjari bath, if, I'm in, if I am in my sty bath, really fixed and I'm not thinking like independently or like, you know, I come not back to my God consciousness and I feel independently now I want this or I don't become ping pong, as you always say, Gudi. Then I always always think, what is the next service that Swamini is sending to me? And I'm always in a mood of acceptance and surprise or astonishment. And where I can see that I am not in this, then I am looking for my own um, interest. I am not always continuously with Swamini means I am watching TV or, you know, I'm trying to get some um, entertainment out of this world or I'm not in the service mood. I am in the controlling mood. I want to control people, circumstances, whatever. And I think in my Sadaka Deha, this is what is blocking me when I have this controlling mood in a situation for myself, for my sense enjoyment, or any kind of um, what I feel that I need right now, other than to be open to why, uh, where is Swamini's service for me right now? And I think that is what you are trying to teach us, Gurudev. You go deeply with this because you want to help us to go really into one uh, consciousness of Radha consciousness and that is a very uh, yeah subtle and tricky thing we can say Radhe Radhe we can say oh you are my family but what do I do 24 hours a day with my mind with my senses and in my consciousness that is probably the main differences where I am not always continuously staying with Radha Rani in her service to Mohan and there I deviate and there I become weak and I understand this subject that you want to go deeply with us Gurudev to make us strong in all circumstances and our lives and become honest with ourselves Actually, wonderful, because this was one of the points I noted here. That actually, si, si. like, Gora Sundar was actually speaking about fixing the goal, and for sure he's completely right. Gurudev fixed our goal very clearly, no doubt. But there's a very subtle point, if... I move from sty above means there's only one interest, no other interest, only the seva to Swamini. So as soon as I go a little bit left, a little bit right, a little bit up, a little bit down, I'm going back to Sanjuri Bar. Then I'm not sty. I was actually trying to give a little picture. Please forgive me, it's not really art. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, if we start with some banda because of Gurudev's mercy, like here, some banda, and here is the aeroplane, we are the captain. Captain is on board always because it's our aeroplane. Like Prabhupada said, you have to fly your own aeroplane. So we are the captain and we have this. On the base of Sambanda, we start. So where we want to go? Gurudev is actually giving us. No, say Gurudev. Baba is giving us. We are all learning from Baba. <laughs> the goal, Brayochan. 
So we want to go from here to the goal, very old time. We want to fly as a captain. We cannot stop because we have to cross the ocean. If we stop, we are gone. So the way from Sambanda beginning to Brayochan, we all know is Abideha. So what actually the captain is doing on the way? He's actually correcting the goal all the time, right? The course. We are on the course. We want to get the goal. We are flying. And the captain is actually always again and again and again trying to stay on the course. Up, down, right, left. Maybe it's windy. Maybe some hole. The plane is going a little bit down or up. So always it has to, per to be corrected 24-7 if it's a long fly. All the time. It has to be corrected again and again. So that means we have to stay in sky to reach our goal. So actually, I for me, it was a very interesting point to reflect on that because I thought, actually, this is our field of control because all we have is this tendency to control something, right? We know this tendency, I think. <laughs> Actually, this is our field of control to always bring back this aeroplane on this course. This we should control, of course, not alone, because what we have is the navigation system on board. On every aeroplane, there's a navigation system on board. You cannot fly without. And even if it gets very danger, there's an autopilot, right? <laughs> if I fall in sleep or something like this, autopilot is flying for me. Like Gurudev said, I could not chant. I was telling my Gurudev, I cannot. No problem. I will chant for you. So in this way, actually, it's very, very sure that we will reach the goal if we are actually controlling the right field. And this is actually the field for us where we should actually invest our tendency to control. So now... One I, thing I want to yes. say. What to control? Just the course. With the help of the Guru Dev. Yes, Abhideha to control. Yes, Abhideha. Yes. yes. Like this. Abhideha to control. Abhideha means, no, you have to say, Abhideha means, Deha are out of my body. That to control. Abhideha. Abhideha, that I am in my constitutional position, uh, out of control of that, or uh, come to my sadhak deha, deha to control, watchful to Abhideha. I am in constitutional position or material position. That to control. Can I ask a question? Gurudev, yeah. you, you really inspired me now to... Uh, I was just listening to the beautiful explanation of, of Suniti and, and Gorasundara. But actually, when, when I think about my life and, and when I think about Staibhav, 
Actually, what you always say, Gurudev, is the mo when we can all boil it down like milk becomes burfy, stay bath cannot work if a permanent mood cannot work without attachment. So without attachment, there can never be a stay bath. So this is ah. the big, big point. This is, I'm sick of all, I know you go there, if all this philosophy and all these things will not bring us to anywhere. But only I realize in my life, the more I am attracted, I cannot, I'm not an advanced devotee. I, like Suniti said, I sometimes take also breaks. I'm very honest. <laughs> but the more there is raga, the more there is attachment to my, and now comes a very important point. You gave us this also. The more I am aware, aware of my Swarupa and the more attachment I invest in that point, then I can move forward. Otherwise, it's always ping pong left and right, but I have to become attached in the morning time. I cannot say like anyone else, I have like 10 hours work every day or nine hours work every day. So I have to fix myself in my stay bath in the morning. And like Gurudev said, listen to one pastime, meditate about that pastime so that the attachment is always there for Radha and Krishna, for Swamini and for my Swarup, even if I am out there teaching or working or buying boga. But stay bath will never work. This was my realization by your mercy, Dev, Guru Gurudev. Stay bath will not work without attachment. So our job is as much clear hearing about Radha and Krishna and be attached to the Lotus Vito Swamini by this. Otherwise, Dai Bhav will never work. It will be always like waves coming and going. But the more we invest in these feelings, in this Avesha, who am I? Who belong I to and what I have to do? So this is, for me, my challenge every day to fill up this, this pot with some nice nectar and think about it. Sometimes I do it. I'm a rascal and sometimes I don't. But Good if you inspire us that we go more in this point of raga attachment. But if not is the attachment, then I go to Sanchari Bhav. That says Sanchari Bhav. <laughs> Sanchari Bhav. Immediately to easy to catch if a thai bhav is not fixed. That also has to think. What is Sanjari? What is not a thai? What is bad, good and bad? <laughs> If bad is not there, then good is there, good is not there, bad is there. <coughs> if a, 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 a sky is not there, Sanchari will come. And what uh, Gaura Sundara, uh, Gaura Vani is telling about the flying and controlling that has to visualize all the time from my heart how the control is there. Control is there from my sarup or my sadhak there. That is balancing. We think that <laughs> we have to control and they have to control us. Yes. Sarup, in control of Sarup, we are, we are flying different way. And when we are in the Sadak Deha control, we are moving different direction, Sanchari direction. Mm. Take. Now discuss on this. <laughs> Beautiful, good. If also Tarun, I can feel what you feel, and that's what you say. And but I would say, if we accept our 
our self as a manjari. As we say, we are manjari and go deep in that subject and we, we see what we read from the point of the manjari, how a manjari is feeling, how a manjari is feeling radhika, how a manjari is feeling others. Then all this, uh, we have to gesagt, uh, what you say, this um, raga? Mm. Attachment. Attachment is also coming. So it, it is this feeling of a manjari is giving attachment. Attachment brings you more deep. And uh, so your identification, this is not a, a thing by, uh, by the mind. 24-7 is not a thing by the mind. You cannot press your mind to be 24-7 uh, a manjari. No, no, you have to be. This is a question of feeling. This, this is an inner, a inner way. Not by reading. This All this reading is beautiful and it will help us to come in the bath. <laughs> bath is, is, is this feeling to be a manjari. And if we are fixed, really, we accept ourselves as a manjari, then we understand what is a manjari feeling? And when we read the scriptures, then they give hints how a manjari is feeling. They give mm -hmm. hints how Swamini is feeling. And then we, we identify ourselves as a manjari. And as more as we do, as deeper we go inside, as easier it is, because your feelings growing. With all this, what we read and think about and meditate, so automatically, even we are outside here in this uh, world, material world, but more and more, we come to the feeling of a manjari. We all, what we do outsidely, we think, oh, what will our Swamini think about my doing. How can I serve more better? Gora oh. no, 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 no. Finish. I was, I was, when I, one of my last darshans with Baba, uh, such an excellent point you make, wonderful. When I, uh, one of my last darshans with Baba, I asked him, Baba, you know that I am a school teacher. How, when I'm in, with the kids, how can I, how can I be Manjari? How can I be in Manjari above when I'm teaching them A, B, C and 1 plus 1 is 2 and 5 plus 5 is 10? So he said the exact same thing. He said, actually, it all depends on your consciousness. It depends on how are you acting in this world. And this made a deep impression. He said, one should always see himself as a servant of the children as, and, and go away from the Purusha and the controlling aspect and see yourself as a servant of those who we are dealing with. This was, he didn't say anything like, yeah, you have to imagine yourself wearing something and, and this is not possible because I'm standing in front of the children. But he said, it is a thing of bhav and the consciousness that we change from this controlling matter into the, the service attitude and then when I do this it's a good job when I don't do this it's not so good <laughs> Wunderbar. so if you allow I would come back to the controlling field because it's connected now what you said Tarun Baba again because uh, our tendency of control actually we can invest exactly here of course like uh, Gora Sundara was uh, saying it's, it's, it's a kind of feeling and this is actually, mm -hmm. it, it's not the mind who is pressing something actually, no. Um, this field of control is more meant like, I feel, is this really what Swamini wants from me in this moment? This is actually meant like that. Always see. Uh, could I do better? Could I do more um, sufficient? Because actually it's very subtle sometimes. We may, we may speak about Radharani Krishna and the Leelas and we may like a theme and we, we may enjoy that actually. 
but it's the the uh, uh, the aud auditorium or uh, what do you say the, the people who are there is that really serving them because Radharani wants them to come closer or do I enjoy in this moment that text that mood or this is actually it's very subtle it has very very subtle I want points. to say this in some point Right. And I like to listen past time. It shows that I'm not practicing my Siddha Deha constitutional position. It shows this is not happening without Radharani Mercy. As Thai Bhav, it's not, not possible to be in Siddha Deha, a constitutional position. Not possible. In Sanchari Bhav, Adi Visam Sneha Bhav. Impossible. And I'm listening the past time. So, what we are doing? I relish from my material. Consciousness. I want to, to listen not in my sarupavish. I want to listen and relish in my sadhak there. Then what happened is Sanchari Bhav is the I like very much Krishna. My nista is very much with Krishna, but Krishna can bring you to Siddha Deha constitutional position. In your Sarupavis, he can say that you are soul. He can say, I am a super soul, relate with me, love me. Then I will open your door to go there to meet with Radha. And I know, believe this, and I want to listen in this Sanchari Bhav stage, the pastime of Vrindavan. And Govinda Lila Amrit, what will happen to me? In Sadak Deha, our enjoyment tendency in Sanjari Bhav, it will bring me in different direction. And microphone of you, Sumaduria. Right, Anna. Without mercy of Radharani, without mercy of Adhik Sneha, Without practicing of my constitutional Prabhu, my Sarup, what Prabhupada write, page four, by devotional practice, what is his meaning? What you like to be devotional practice, you develop Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. That Sarup and Sarup Siddhi only Radharani is giving. Your Sarup Siddhi is yours, Bhajan, and condense that Anandas Babaji is this position, he is selling mental religion, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. mental religion, where my mind is going, that is my position, to help to this mind, to fix our yesterday relation, sambandha. This is important for the mind. My relation, my yesterday being, and fix then see mercy 
that how to serve her without my spiritual body, Gopi Bhav. It's not desire will come for Gopi Bhav. In Sanchari Bhav, never desire can come. You see that? It desire will come. Jananda Maharaj, I want to he shares something. Gauranga Sundara, he shares something. What is your observation and what is a realization? And Gaurachandra also, I will request to come and share something. Please, Jananda <laughs> So I don't have uh, realizations. Uh, but uh, what the Guru Dev is saying is very, very true. I can also. I can experience also. Uh, we are, we are like, uh, our mind is very tricky. Because uh, we are doing sadhana or uh, we doing, you know, devotional practice. But uh, our mind is, uh, tendency to deviate and jumping material thing or uh, Krishna's uh, sanctuary tendency. So that tendency, my experience is when I met Gurudev and uh, I tried to fix Swarupa, but uh, from beginning, uh, so my mind is uh, always wandering. So therefore, my concern is to, to, to visit many holy places. It's not uh, like, uh, I'm not, uh, feeling like uh, sightseeing, but some tendency of kind of sightseeing. <coughs> At that time, I cannot enter in, inside. Yes. And even now, maybe difficult to uh, inside. For sure, that's so. But, uh, uh, and then slowly, slowly, I, I'm, uh, I feel necessity of bhajan uh, to concentrate myself and do more concentrate. This is most important. A time how without bhajan. Stay Baba says a bhajan. So is somebody so translate us? So. Yeah. This bhajan makes us bhajan kriya make us a side. It's okay. If I not do bhajan. Mind will never aside. For mind we are is a mental religion. Oh, yes, Sorry, I try to add in the printer, but it's not possible to update, so sorry, I'm trying. So then I realize, uh, no, I'm, I try to 
I'm, I'm realizing. So, Baja is necessary to, 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 to fix my Swarupa. Then, if I get taste, then I want to be more in Baja. And then, more feeling is coming and more easy to fix it. So therefore, from beginning, I, I get up early morning, especially in Japan, I do translation work. But later on, I realize, oh, it is not a good sadhana. So after get up, now I try to do two, three hours in Baja, try to fix myself. And then I try to do another, another thing. And here in Brindaban, now we are in Brindaban. So I'm so foreign. You know, Guru Dev was, you know, telling me I'm like bogus. I'm so, you know, so foreign. So I accept. So, and I try to be with Guru Dev, try to hear from Guru Dev's words, try to fix myself. In morning time, I try to do my, my bhajan with Guru Dev. And also, I'm feeling in Brindaban, it so help us. So outside Brindaban, and inside Vrindavan, it seems the same, but completely different, my, my observation. Because Vrindavan is Radharani's land. So Radharani footprint, foot dust there, or Radharani's hand is all there. Radharani is always there. So if we pray to Radharani, then many way Radharani fix us. So therefore, my feeling, so Baba, eh, Anandas Babaji Maharaj, you say, stay in, in Radha Kunda, stay in Vrindavan. So I also feeling staying in Vrindavan is a very important item for us. Even Rupa Goswami Pada also say, live in Brindavan. But if we could not live physically, then try to live in mentally. So now Guru Dev is fixing me because my mind is so sanctuary. So uh, I try to take advantage of this Brindavan. Also many Rashka devotees there here in Brindavan. My dear Gorabani, my dear Maharani, also here Shamari Priya, Didi, and Niti Didi also there, and many old devotees here. So this devotees association helped me, especially this Sajati Sangha devo devotees. Because uh, we, if, if we discussed, so this morning also we are discussing with Gorabani Pabu and Mah Maharani Didi. So then we, we come same point, same conclusion. Then make us more strong feeling and more strong to determine Fix goal. Try to try to what is that? Try to uh, go better. Try to go more feeling. Try to more taste. Be, uh, with association with our Guru Dev. So my feeling is, Ibraja is very important. Bajan is very important. Sajati Sangha is important. And uh, Ishta Nishta, especially our Ishta Devi, 
is Srimati Radharani. So I'm always pray and hear, try to hear, try to feel a feeling, try to try to find what she wants us to do as Kinkari. And that is my humble feeling here. As Gurudev ordered me to share something and you inspired me to share something, I would like to say that um, this Thai Bhav is actually most important Bhav because without this Thai Bhav, devotee cannot relish any rasa. And I remember Prabhupada who said that this Thai Bhav is king of Bhavas. <laughs> so it means that all other Bhavas are depending on this and relishing of this bhavas are depending on fix like tarun said permanent stai fixed permanent bhava which is not uh, passing and to get this stai bhav first condition is the devotee has to define his ishtadev because through this, he can immediately come to the point which is my position in this relation with Ishtadev, in our sense Radhika. Do I want to become her girlfriend, friend, or I want to be her maidservant? When the devotee de defined this desire in his heart, then by the mercy of sadhus, rasic devotees, and guru, he is getting this mercy in the form of Swarup that he can perform to situate himself in Sambhada relationship and then to make the progress through Abhideya, through devotional service, but through Svarup Vesh. This is important to understand because if we jump over something, if we jump over these three points, Ishtadev, my position according to Ishtadev, and spiritual identity Swarup, then it will be confusion. But it's not so simple. Because to be fixed in Stai Bhava, I need that my heart and my mind is fixed, like we said, Chitta Vrit. Sorry, here is a interruption from the internet. So, also, my guys is fixed. Okay. So, this Chitta Vrit is helping to be more fixed in Ishtadev, to be more fixed in own Staiba, Swarup Vesh, and then natural feelings are flowing. Because when we speak about natural feelings, we are speaking about Staiba. Like Gurudev said, there are two ways. 
how we can listen lila with body or through the spiritual identity through the spiritual identity we are stimulating natural feelings and we are also provoking in somehow the mercy to come to us but if we are listening or practicing other limbs of devotion only from the bodily consciousness then we are on the platform ordinary feelings and these ordinary feelings are always under the three gunas they are coming from the mind they are coming from the senses lower senses upper senses doesn't matter they are coming from the body and they are always under the influence of gunas then under these circumstances, sancharis are always appearing. But natural feelings are something which is deeply rooted in spiritual identity. And to be completely fixed, stai, person needs extra mercy it's not possible by our own endeavor because i will not look tv or i will not do my job i will control my stay above and coming to this position of stay above no it's going through the mercy of Hladini Shakti by Radharani through Guru Kripa. When devotee is fixed, uh, um, pervaded with Bhav or Rati, strong, strong emotions, like Tarun said, attachment, Ashakti also is including in that. By the mercy then he is fixed in Staibal and he can relish his rasa to his Ishtadev whomever is he because we, we mentioned Visham Sneha, Sama Sneha and Radha Adi Sneha and we can see different devotees they have different emo natural emotional inclination to Krishna or to Radharani or to both of them. But all these three kinds of devotees are fixed in their staiba. And someone who is fixed in Visham Sneha, he will never go astray. Never, under any circumstances. Because the king of his bhava, the king of his chitta vrit, <clears throat> is so strong and natural, not under the gunas. And that kind of person can practice bhajana kriya completely in a balanced way. Balanced, balanced way. Because he knows who is he, he is fixed in this, he knows his Ishtadev, then he can drive the taxi, he can travel by the plane, because he knows his Swarup, and not only knows Gurudev. Sarup, what Sarup he has? Madhali Sarup, right? If he wants, if he is, Stai Bhava is Krishna, then what Sarup he will get? I will I, I am friendly. He will get the friendly nature or motherly nature. If he wants desire for Vatsalya Rasa, to take care about Krishna, to feed him, to always be uh, uh, to protect him 
then his natural feelings are Vatsalya. He wants to be his mother, helper of Mother Yashoda or helper of his parents. If the person wants, his natural feelings are going towards Krishna to be friendly, on equal, to always make jokes, to feel I am equal with Krishna. We can run, we can jump, we can go with the cows. This is my natural feelings, my natural inclination. In then which, he is fit. In which mood? Then he is fixed in Sakabav. Yes, that too clear. Yes. Or in motherly nature. Or the motherly nature. This is Taibav. This is Taibav. Yeah. yeah. And this Taibav is the king of the Bavs, like Prabhupada said, to this particular devotee. And he is completely in natural position. He is balanced. And he can live the life according to the desire of his Ishtadev. Yes, right. But in this bhav. In this bhav. In this bhav. But if then, someone wants Krishna like a lover, what to do? This is his natural desire, natural feeling. Yeah. And nothing wrong is in that. But if he is really natural in this, he will never astray anywhere in Vatsalya, in Dasya, uh, in Saka, he will be fixed to be lover, to give Krishna pleasure with his body, with his words, with his songs. Always be on a Krishna's side. He likes Radharani, but natural feelings are always going directly. Heart, chitta vrit, is going to Krishna's chitta. And so on and so on. But if someone wants to be Radha Dasi, and he feels natural inclination, natural feelings, to be the shadow of Radhika, to always see serve Radhika, sweet, beautiful Radhika, and her beloved, her beloved, not my own beloved, Radhika's beloved. Then he is naturally situated in his natural feelings, and the king of this bhava, his Thai bhava, is Manjari bhava then he is completely fixed. And personally, Gurudev, and honestly to say, you said many times, I was thinking so many times, of course, about that, and this is the most difficult bhava for conditioned soul to practice, because there is no experience in that. We can just get some glimpses And because of these glimpses, our sancharis are always appears that we are not fixed in Radhika. So only way is to 100% by the mercy, by causeless 100% kripa, full kripa, person be situated in this position of Radha Dasi. Association is required for Salgirab. Absolute. Absolute. Proper association, loving association of devotees who are Sajatiya, not Vijatiya.
one thing you say loving da yeah. when loving come how without radhika no way all love is coming ultimately through radharani from radharani when you say a feeling from where it's coming mahabhava swarupini radhe takurani she is making krishna to dance <laughs> she is making devotee to dance she is dancing and three of them are dancing in the same place nivriti nikunj <laughs> then all mantras diksha mantras maha mantras helping immersely uh, it's not possible to describe how they are helping to fix more in the stable yeah and this is progression we cannot say that without yes one point is we cannot say that without sukritis sufficient sukritis it will go fast how diksha mantra and maha mantra will come all the time we do or uh, Uh, how it will reveal me diksha mantra and maha mantra how it how will it, reveal how, how it reveals first of all we have to know from whom these mantras are coming prema rupaya radhika is prema rupaya and guru is prema rupaya then when we have this strong faith shraddha in guru then we will automatically that he is prema rupaya then we understand that mantra is also prema rupaya is fused with prema rupaya and if we start to chant <clears throat> meditating on this gift what we receive especially if we received also with swarup then we have opportunity slowly but surely to get some small realizations what does it mean diksha mantra of gora radhika kama gayatri and so on and especially maha mantra because ultimately all mantras are coming from radhika <laughs> yeah it's not easy maybe to understand but all mantras because all mantras are giving the pleasure and she is the swarup shakti she is the hladini shakti speaking like from the tatva point but it's little bit boring but if we say that all these beautiful mantras are not different and they are coming from radhika then we are coming to the point of sweetness of radharani beauty of radharani and also her lover he is here what can we do and why not you add this is bringing to radharani coming from radharani and bringing to radharani you had it good nice bringing to her daughters that this is the perfect circle yes coming from radhika and bringing again devoted to radhika and when this vision come when the vision come yes come, please that is 24/7 
that where is happening, we relate that in all activities of my life. Uh -huh. Yes, good. Because the visions are so deeply rooted by the mercy, by the Kripa in the person. So it doesn't matter what he's doing then. Maybe he is very nice arrangement to sit and chant all the time. But many of us, we don't have this kind of possibilities. And maybe we don't have enough Sukritis also. But it doesn't mean that we are disqualified to receive this full Kripa. Radhe, if we, if, if we see it from this point, Gurudev, we can also go in a personal way, not so. We can say the mantras, the Diksha mantras, bring us to a personal relationship to the person we are calling. And these person, like Lalita and others, they will bring us automatically to Radhika. Wow. If you say that the mantra is coming from Radhika and bring to Radhika, we can go directly in this that we understand the Diksha mantras will bring us to the person we are calling. And those person will bring us and guide us to Radhika back. It's a practical way that we can go. What I can see in the Stai Bhav is also one other thing. There are two points of view. There is Krishna and Radhika. One is the enjoyer and one is the servant. One is 100% enjoyer, one is 100% servant to make him happy. And all other baths are less than 100%. They are not 100% in the service mood. And as less service mood they have, as this part they have in the enjoying, because it comes then from Krishna. And only Radhika has this 100%, or we can say 108 of the service mood. And when we go to her, we will also get this 100% service mood to Krishna. And this is the different to other Babs, not to say better or not better, but to understand this. We have no, no zero selfish uh, percent, no zero. It's, we only think on, the, on that what is Radhika desiring. And this we like to do. And she is only thinking how to make Krishna happy. And this is the mood we will enter. Right, Gurudev? Only 100%. But you're only listening, one thing comes. That uh, if you are Krishna Adik Sneha, when you be some sneha, so then maybe you can make us become sakha, a motherly love interest. But if somebody talk about Radha, is a sanchari for that person because he has no idea about that. And if he talks, is also in sanchari bhav because he has no idea, because there is no relation with Swami. This stage, he is in Sanchari Bhav, here with Radharan, because his mind is fixed in different place, and he is thinking just Getting idea with that is that is Sanchari. Right, Gora Sundara? 
Yes. What you see, you ask how you see this? Goranga Sunda or Gora Sunda? Goranga Sunda. I am crazy. Yes, I, <laughs> I do mistakes. Too I many Gauras you have, Gurudev. <laughs> All Gaura is growing, what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> this so is much age. golden light, we are all like... <laughs> this is age of Gora. <laughs> <laughs> Gora Avatar, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Yes, Gurudev, I like what you said and I very appreciate very much what you said, because uh, it's also warnings behind... <laughs> <laughs> this many devotees many devotees are speaking very nicely about Krishna Lila they in dramatic way poetic way uh, with so beautiful words sweet words they are really speaking very attract in attractive way but most of them is actually are on this neutral position. With some today. Yeah. This is compliment. Vishnam <laughs> 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 Sneha is a compliment. I said a little yeah. bit lower, Gurudev. I said on Shanta, on this passive mood. They know everything about Rasa and Lila but they cannot enter deeply in any ras, in any bar. Why? Because they are not fixed in their own stay bar. And if we are not fixed, then we are coming to the position that our little pot of milk can receive few drops of lemon. And in that way, it will damage this small quantity of so valuable nectar of milk. And again, we are coming to the point, this is the reason why we have to be fixed in Staibab as much as we can, but also very careful when we expose our ears, our heart to someone, especially if he is not fixed in his own bath. Because the words are not so important, but the bhava behind these words is influencing. You understand? Words can be perfect, but if there is no bhava, behind proper stai bhava nothing will happen in our heart maybe lemon yes and if i may add i think also gurudev you warned us indirectly or mentioned it that if such a person who speaks about radhika in a santrari way like in a knowledgeable way only that is also not so favorable for our feelings it will not give us uh, the feelings that we need to go deeper into our manjari feelings mm. if we only hear it from somebody who speaks about radhika in a santrari way means like yeah there is also one nice lady next to krishna <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say something when Goras, Gora Sundar said about this Lalita Mantra. We should have proper understanding of relationship between Manjaris and Sakis. Manjaris, Sakis are superior, older, superior to Manjaris. And many times, Sakis are giving the orders 
too dangerous. In many lilas, it's mentioning. And Manjaris love Sakis. But they are not attached to these Sakis. And because attachment is a intense, more intense feeling than just love, appreciation. Attachment is a strong, strong feeling of dependence of my Radhika. In all circumstances, because true attachment with Radhika, Adi Sneha, Bhavo Lasa, this strong Rati, Manjari receiving Radhika's emotion towards Krishna, not Lalita's. Yeah. Radhika's emotion. Oh, Lalita's like. Wow. And Lalita Sanchari can be also. Helper of Lalita. But it means that this kind of helper received all Lalita's emotions. More. These are the Sancharis, right, Gurdi? I see how the person interested she give like that. Give like that. If the who is the manjari of Radhika, she is part for the manjari of Radhika. Anang manjari also has a book, both bhav, but Anang manjari also helps to test and to qualify to us to be your to develop your as high bhav in Radha Dasha. And Laita also helping. So this is our line in Rupanuga line. Right. So very sweet essence because you have to pray to elders that they not disturb us. Any place the elders are there, they can give you different bhav also. So if you will request for Radhika, they love more Radhika. They are working for Radhika. So they give. Because you are Rupanuga, so that bhav, Manjiri bhav, they are sthai. They will help in that bhav. The smallest met seven, Inkiri bhav. I can feel, Gurudev, that you give this mantras to us to guide us on the way to Radhika. There are different steps. And if we get a relationship, then they are lovingly take our hand and bring us more close. And also Lalita, this is only my experience in the meditation that there is some relationship coming. And uh, she is she's very, very helpful to myself. Uh, but I, I believe that everybody has to get his own experiences. There is not <clears throat> a general uh, meaning because we speak about relationship and relationship is, is a private thing deep inside. And it is, uh, uh, everybody has a different relationship to others. Others, what you say, Gurudev, but they are there is a deep meaning that you give exactly this Diksha mantras. This is Narabat Lila. Hmm? Narabat Lila. 
Narvad Leela, why they do like a Narvad Leela? Narvad means like a human. Yeah. Like a human to yeah. feel Radhika's services are feeling side, you have to feel like a human. Yeah. What to do? <laughs> feeling is coming from my feeling, like a human feeling. Not about the leader. Hmm. Think on that. Hmm. Is not philosophy. Is a lila narvad like the human feelings? It's so natural, good. Eh? And so second natural. thing, try to meditate in this point. That is a mental religion. Baba Bhai say mental religion. Watch for one week to your mind only. What is his religion? Where the mind is going? Mental religion. We start from there. Mental religion. Why Baba said this? Behind this is the what is the meaning behind that? Then he say, mind. yes, mental religion, where the mind is flowing to me, my mind, which direction. Then he says, smaran. His mind is in a smaran or not? Dhan or not? Dharan or not? Dhruva Smriti or not? What is the Samadhi stage or not? These are the stairs. Which stage we are? Mind can do no? these things. For mind, he say like this. And one like a human pastime to feel that, right? But relationship, Gurudev, has to start like this. Relation has to fix. <laughs> uh, what has to do, uh, things to do in my Siddhadeha, First to come and sit there, that is taking baths and cleaning hours. Sure, otherwise, otherwise it becomes... <coughs> so, yeah, uh, in my... I, why I like Bhagavad Gita page 4? I see in Vrindavan, only they practice page four. Intimate friend. No, this is uh, why Baba write about that. That only in Vrindavan, because only in Vrindavan they don't go for philosophy or other things. They practice only sarup. Devotional practice and sarupa and sarup siddhi. Europe is very difficult to do out of Vrindavan. Even Delhi is very difficult to do. <laughs> Matra is difficult to do. <laughs> so is Sajjari Uthapam. Which are very difficult. About to us. Do. But Vrindavan is inside creating by relationship to those you gave to us. There is Vrindavan. Vrindavan is not meaning 
Or is it? Meaning to take it and bring it to you where you are in Vrindavan. When this stage is there in your consciousness, where I go, the... that hmm. is where. Hmm? <laughs> where I go with this consciousness, where I am living is Vrindavan. When I go out from this outer Vrindavan, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. We see Prabhupada. Yeah. Wherever he put his footstep, Vrindavan is coming. That's the same. Anything, any matter. Because he is in Vrindavan, he brings out to Vrindavan because he was in, in Radha Dasi. He started with Sarup, Sarup Siddhi, beginning. And last he said that pleasure, normally you cannot be without pleasure giving potency. Where he is? What is the Isidevan? What it should be? He is saying Bhagavad Gita or not. We don't accept his separate issue. <laughs> it's a separate issue. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't try. Uh, today I was re listening so beautiful class, so beautiful class <laughs> to uh, Sachinandan give our Srimad Bhagavat. Wow. Mm. He said that Alladani Shakti is the goal. In the Srimad Bhagavat, again you read this. Wow! So great words. And Yoga Maya and Mahamaya, both his, his energy. Wow, so nicely explained. You have to re listen again from the such who is missing to listen the classes of such. They, they need to again. You have to request to repeat this class and listen. Wow, I cannot say you. He's not only in Chaitanya, but <laughs> everywhere he is talking by you. Why not you understand so long you follow these books he has? I listen first time these books. <laughs> I was living and listening in Srimad Bhagavata. Is he Hindi? I say to Sachi, no, I want to listen to Prabhupada's Srimad Bhagavat. Wow! I say, wow means meaningful. Wow. <laughs> so beautiful. So you cannot understand without Vilav Kutsumanjali. You are a Thai bhav. How the Mahajans are helping from the basic to be in a Thai bhav. Then Prabhupada say, Varan Ashram Dharm do this. You are not qualified more than that. <laughs> I say you are not listening. I say you don't understand then Varan Ashram Dharm. 
follow this right way. <laughs> what Prabhupada first said, no, 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 he's very out subject. <laughs> Now the time is over for the devotee. <laughs> but it's a very good subject. Not in here. We have to more and more try to research, research things. It has to research. All has to be crystal. 